Oi, oi! Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video now. <sighs> guys, anyway, welcome back to a brand new video, guys. Um, yes, now, the Derby Day is approaching. Norwich City versus Ipswich Town. Um, really excited, guys. There is a lot of talk over the Ipswich Norwich game this year at Carrow because obviously we all know what happened last year. There was damage done. Um, yeah, I was uh, very shocked, to put it straight. Very shocked what happened last year. Um, and, however, it was quite funny, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, anyway, this video is a bit of a different video, okay? So, I'm gonna be going through five reasons why I think Ipswich Town are probably gonna win this year. Now, a lot of Town fans are gonna comment down below on this and be like, you're deluded, we're gonna get smashed. Um, which, yes, we might, because obviously they've got, like, their squad is absolutely solid. Um, and people argue that they have the best squad. People have argued that they've got the best squad they've had for, like, five years. So, um, yeah. So, it could go either way, to be honest, on the 10th of February. Um, I am nervous, I'm not going to lie. But anyway, here are the five reasons why I think Ipswich Town are going to win. So the first reason I've put down is Paul Lambert, okay? Now, obviously, Paul Lambert was at Norwich, okay? And he did great things with Norwich. Um, he brought them from League One into the Championship. Dad! Turn it off, I'm recording a video! Dad! Christ. Um, so yeah, the first reason why I think Ipswich could beat Norwich this year is because Paul Lambert is facing his ex-club. Norwich City, he was a legend there, let's all put it that way. Um, he got them from League One, promoted to the Championship, straight away again, Championship to Premier League. And he did, do, he did, do, he did, do, he, did do, he did do very well with Norwich. Um, so I think he could be out to prove them wrong. He could be out to show them up. He could be out to do anything. He could be out to lay them there, show what Norwich are missing. Um, <laughs> I know I might get a lot of Norwich fans coming down below and be like, oh, Paul Lambert's lost it now. Uh, Paul Lambert's just not very good anymore. He got, he's got he been relegated with a, a few teams now. Uh, mate, it, it doesn't bother me, okay? If we beat Norwich on the 10th of February and we still get relegated, I wouldn't be too annoyed, okay? If we lost at Norwich and got relegated, yes, I'd be heartbroken because we probably wouldn't be playing Norwich for a while. Um, I don't know how long, but yeah, that's how I think, and that's how I put it anyway. So, Paul Lambert against his ex-club, it just, it just, it just could be the time. It could be the, it could be the day we win. So, reason number two. Um, is I did touch on it a little bit in the last, I did touch on this a little bit in the, a minute ago. Um, reason number two, um, we might not be playing Norwich for a few years, okay? Because if they go up and we get relegated, when are we next to be playing each other? It'll be at least three or four years until we can play each other. Or no, I don't know. Um, it prob it, the, the likelihood is that we probably won't be playing Norwich for a while if they go up or if we go down. Um, so I think, you know, there's got to be a point where we win. So, yeah, I think, I think the players are going to be really up for it. To be honest. Reason number three. It's been ten seasons, okay? Um, ten years now since we've beaten Norwich, and I think ten could be the lucky number. I mean, ten is my lucky number. Not going to lie. Um, so. I feel like it could be the end of their run, okay? Um, I know Norwich are doing very well at the moment, um, but you know, like everyone says, consistency goes out of the window in Derby days. So hopefully, we can pick up a win against Norwich. Anyway, reason number four, okay? Now some of you might disagree with this, but in my opinion, Norwich have all the pressure, okay? Because they're fighting for that top two spot. Um, they need to keep getting points to keep up there because, you know, top six is a very competitive part of the table. Teams are going to be teams in that top six are going to be picking up points so often 
Norwich need to pick up points wherever they can. And so t to try and do it against their rivals Ipswich, us, um, they're going to be they're going to be having a lot. They're going to have a lot of pressure on them to do that because obviously we're bottom. We need points as well, but. We know they've got the better team. We're not gonna put. We're not gonna deny it. I'm not gonna deny it. Um, I know Norwich have better players than Ipswich. They've spent more money. Um, so yeah, technically they've got all the pressure on them. Okay, they need to get the result. They need to win. Um, however, we yeah, they've got pressure on them. Anyway, the last and final reason. Reason number five. Okay. Can you remember what happened in the summer transfer window? Good old Jordan Rhodes, eh? Good old Jordan Rhodes. Absolute snake. So yeah, obviously we had Jordan Rhodes at Ipswich, um, and he, he was like, oh, I love Ipswich, they're a great club, blah, 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 blah. But then Norwich City went and offered him a contract, and, and bang, he's at Norwich City. So Jordan Rhodes, who we, who we all thought, who, who we all thought Roy Keane should have given a chance, um, is obviously gone and he's now at Norwich. So I think reason five is that it's going to come back to bite him. Okay, I think Ipswich are going to win, and I think Jordan Rose is going to be like, oh no, I should have stayed in Ipswich. <laughs> Jordan Rose is obviously ex Ipswich player, so I think it could come back to bite him, and I hope it does because. A lot of town fans, you know, we, we don't really like him um, for what he did. Anyway, they're five reasons. They're, they're not the best reasons why, but five potential reasons why Ipswich Town could win against Norwich this year. Now, I don't know what you think, um, but personally, if I had to make a prediction at this current stage, um, I'd probably say one all. Okay, I don't want to predict the loss. I don't. I can't predict a win because of the form we're in. Um, obviously, Norwich City are the favourites to win. I would have thought. Anyway, that is it for me. Okay, that is it from me. Um, hopefully, you have enjoyed this video because it's been a bit of a different one. Um, anyway, anyway, that is it. Bring on Norwich City away. Um, I'm really excited, and I've got a lot of, a lot, and I mean a lot of good content coming out very soon. So stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, make sure you do leave this video a like if you've enjoyed it, because that would really help me out. Um, subscribe to my channel if you are new. Press that subscribe button, it takes like two seconds. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.